Show. Hi, thank you so much for joining uh, our XR Weekly News today. And today, uh, Aditi, do you want to, or uh, Christine, do you want to share uh, the oh, news? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Here we go. And can you see my screen? I just want to ask because you, you never know. <laughs> yes, yes. Wonderful. Okay. So I thought this was very interesting. And Campfire raises $3.95 for a generative AI game tool, and it's called Sprites. Mm -hmm. So they made a game, and it's like an all-in-one generative AI platform. And this is the first AI um, native like life simulation game and it's called cozy friends and if you look at it it may look familiar if you're a fan of animal crossing like i am yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I, i'm not a i haven't played animal crossing but even like even to me it, i can see the similarity you can see the similar as we go you'll be like it's like whoa it's almost like spitting image oh my God. and that and that was their their um inspiration for it and i just think mm -hmm. to myself how fun would it be if you're talking to characters that have like a memory and emotions and oh. they can really and they so they really can hold conversations with users and it really makes a game um interactive because you know if you do play animal crossing after a while you kind of can predict what they're gonna say because mm -hmm. it's a, it's already you know coded into the game and this when you're using generative ai mm -hmm. and i don't know what the character is gonna say to you and it's just pretty engaging and how they started this this was a this is a San Francisco company and it started with a hackathon where they were oh, wow. and and I, I and um yeah so they 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 did or or they like worked on the project a lot more at a hackathon and they they first started the I, the concept in like a lobby and just had like AI agents in the lobby and they found that people just in a lobby were having so much fun talking to these agents ai agents that they they thought well let's make a game around that that's yeah that's fine. yeah go so ahead, when, go you ahead say, go ahead. when you say lobby uh tell us more about that oh so what i mean about lobby is when you're in like a social multiplayer game sorry about that yeah mm -hmm. and so and you're all in in the lobby together talking to each other they put these ai avatars that had this mm -hmm. um conversational ability on them into that same lobby and in in the people were like really talking to these AI agents quite a bit. So um, their their first like their MVP was just literally a lobby and no like no game. It's just I don't a lobby think it, that was first. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it was like a test. It's in that's this cool. article. It's really cool. It's in this yeah. article. Where was it that they say it? But yeah, it was in there. And there's a couple of things I wanted to read that I thought were really good. Like so campfire sprites. So they're called sprites. Um I'll get to their website in just a second. It's sprites.ai. It lets developers build AI characters who can hold conversations with mm -hmm. users mm -hmm. and accompany them on these online adventures. So it is making that um, really engaging. So if you go to their website, you could read more about the case study called Cozy Friends. Oh, so they so used, good. it's so cute, right? Yeah. And they used 26 um, conversational agent NPCs and they found that engagement time grew five times per session. And then there's wow. 50, over 50 story driven RPG style quests. Wow. Oh my gosh. Isn't that fun? I, I kind of want to use yeah. this. And they do mention, um, um, oh, is that? Convi, that's a famous one. I probably said the name wrong, <laughs> but they do mention that in here. Um, as an inspiration? Oh. As, a, as as like a competitor, I think. But, oh. uh, <laughs> and <laughs> what did they say about that? Um, if I could find it quick, I will. But otherwise, I did want to read another point here. But they do talk about some of the competitors out there. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. Oh, here, we evaluated every tool. So the team evaluated in-world and convey. Oh, convey. And, uh, convey. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, convey. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It, it, it's interesting because I saw, you see, like an Engage uh, yeah. XR and also uh, Victoria XR. And there are some of it. It all feels very convey-ish. And also yeah. when I saw um, this, like a like a cozy friends, it's, yeah. it, it's like... And 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 I um uh, before I integrate convey 
I、uh, Google, and、mm-hmm. it seems like、um, uh, Nvidia is going to、uh, create something very similar to Convey, but it's probably free, probably. But right now, it's only compatible with Unreal. In the future, it will be compatible with Unity.、Right. They are working on it. So I was thinking about, wow, if Nvidia make it free, then how can those? I mean, it, those companies survive. But anyway, go ahead. What, oh what yeah, would, no. What, what would Nvidia make free? Just let me. I'm I'm still trying to understand all the pieces. Sure. Oh, Dominique. Yeah.、Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, go it's, ahead and、uh, explain because I don't yeah, know yeah. about that one. Oh, oh really? Uh, um, about the Nvidia one, I don't. I, oh, I don't N- Nvidia. If you type, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like uh, li- it's like before I was trying to、uh, make my model. Uh, mm-hmm. Automatically use lip sync, uh, like a lip 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 syncing, because three、okay. D model sometimes, uh, uh, if I use convey, and、mm-hmm. it's only, I I mean it it can uh talk something, but I wanna more doing more like customize. So、okay. I was Google how to do more customization of, for example, like a MP, uh, non uh non player NPC. Oh, I I couldn't remember the non non playing character. Yeah, yeah,、mm-hmm. non play. Uh, non-player character.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I want I want that to、uh, kind of doing like an AI、uh, lip syncing. So、mm-hmm. Nvidia has something called lip,、uh, like a text to 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 lip syncing or something. You need to type the Google、yes. words. I forgot the name of the entire、mm-hmm. engine, but they、okay. are working on、uh, mm-hmm. something very similar to Convey. But right now, it's only available for、okay. uh, Unreal because they are using Meta Human from Unreal.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and、mm-hmm. work on it, but、uh, I think I saw a lot of comments because I want that to be in Unity, and they say they are trying to work and trying to release. But you know, the releasing day <laughs> usually three times mu- much more longer. Yeah. Yeah. So I think probably next year. Yeah. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So maybe so- like it, anyone will be able to build this into any of their characters. They they don't、I、have to、so. program it themselves. I think so. Yeah, if you use Convey, uh, pretty much you you log in and you pick, uh, the characters and then you type their personality and you kind of link check box or write something and put your local data and a、uh, AI, um, NPC will generate it. Wow. It's yeah. I I don't think it requires coding, but it's kind of scary that right now I'm teaching like coding for artists. Mm-hmm. I usually tell them that in the future, probably you just use text prompt,、mm-hmm. and a lot of my students right now using ChatGPT. If they wanna do something, they just generate it, and then、mm-hmm. there are a lot of advanced code、mm-hmm. which is not even mentioned in the class. I just say, if you、wow. can use it, just use it. <laughs> yeah. If you, yeah, if you don't know as ChatGPT, like a copy and paste, like, like what does this mean? But I think, yeah, I think. The future of coding is getting easier and easier. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> I use ChatGPT for that reason all the time. Oh, I'll just make a couple more comments on this one.、Um, yeah. I thought it was cool that Remio VR is is a VR company, and it's one of the first developers to deploy this. And the person on that team said, "We knew we wanted to enable our users to create their own AI characters, but it wasn't easy."、Um, and it's a it's a social VR company. And it normally requires a lot of work, they said. But with、um, campfire sprites, we managed to ship our virtual pet companions in a matter of days.、Mm. So it really gave them a competitive edge by being able to use this tool. It sounds like it's really、um, it's built for developers.、Uh, it, so I, I, that's what I like about it. So、um, I'd like to try it. Yeah, and yeah. they do say Animal Crossing or The Sims was. <laughs> It was an inspiration. That's cool. And was the last thing. Um. Yeah. And then I have a question. And、okay. oh yeah 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 go ahead. And so this is a I'm just, I'm just going to ask the like new question. So there, this is like a lot of things in in that one package, but I'm trying to figure out what all is in the package like. That it seems like I can go into、um, I can go into Campfire Cozy Friends and I can create like the visualization of a character which also talks, which also can respond conversationally. It sounds like and has a certain personality, and I can generate a personality for it. 
um, and does it like do I have to then use it inside one of their games or um, do you think I can use it inside other games like I'm trying to like you know it's yeah how how do we engage with this and stuff and if if we like if we don't know that's fine but I'm it, it, it sounds, gets my mind curious yeah well it sounds like it's uh a, an AI engine for uh games and entertainment apps yeah I'm not sure I'd have to get a demo and I didn't mm-hmm. like research this more than no no I get it it sounds yeah it sounds super but nice, uh but... from prototype to cost reduction at scale all in one place mm-hmm. but it sounds like you can utilize this mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um for for your game okay. and for this first one that's coming out too uh, this, I guess this is the last thing I'll say about it <laughs> um is that it's going to be um free to play mm-hmm. wait where did I see that and then they're going to have maybe a subscription oh okay. it'll start likely as a free to play game with um some usage Im- limitations around the AI because likely it'll be an unlimited a season pass with an unlimited advanced AI subscription. I see. Anyway, I see. So yeah. Yeah. So I guess I would tell people to explore this site a little bit more and see if it's something that maybe request a demo and see if you yeah, could. It's fascinating. Yeah. 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 Is there a click on here? Well, I can't click on anything over here. Okay. I thought it was going to go to a different page. Yeah. Inter- very interesting. So I was like, I'm interested to see how that helps with storytelling. Yeah, very much, very much. I'll go to the next next two. Mm-hmm. Um, so Meta is, is going to start using public posts on Facebook, Instagram, and in the UK to train AI. So it's mm-hmm. going to take your public posts that are on, oh. it says just in the UK to train AI. But the one thing, so I was like, oh no. Mm-hmm. Um, it was delayed because there was a, in Europe, in mid-June, um, they had to pause the launch of its AI models in Europe because Europe is good about, you know, Regulation. regulating. Yeah, right. <laughs> and there was an I- Irish privacy regulator that told the company to delay its plan. It sounds like Meta learned from this, you know, like by getting that regulatory feedback and they were able to, you know, clarify things for their users. And they it does say that there's going to they're going to make it so users can object to processing of their data. Okay. So, so hopefully they make it clear. Um, and, oh, and it says that the company simplified. That's probably the key right there. Cause I bet it's like buried and you don't know where you can say no to that. Oh. So the, yeah, the company has simplified the way users can object to the processing of their data mm-hmm. um, and has extended the window in which they can do so. So extended the window i wonder what that means yeah right yeah. Uh, so um, simplified and extended, extended the window oh they, yeah if mm, i don't know like are they gonna stop telling you oh if you don't you know tick this box now too late yeah. i don't know what that well, means yeah maybe, maybe like a three days for you to think something like that is it like a you know if you if, for, for three days we won't do it and then, right. and then we, we'll do it but then you you can come back and change it yourself but we'll just start doing it by like default right, because, default, because yeah. you know that happens a lot like when it does that yeah like there's like an update to Facebook I haven't been on Facebook in like forever because yeah. I don't have my account anymore but um yeah it, it's like they would just switch things and then all of a sudden it's like wait I thought I turned that off but it's by continuing it's, to it's, use so and so right uh, it's like a reset yeah so hopefully Anyway, little little story about that, but I did bring it up because I did see quite a lot of regu- there was another story about a regulator in in Ireland, and it might have been relating to this. So I've just been seeing a lot of yeah, Europe seems to be, you know, trying to hold these big tech companies uh, accountable, which accountable. is nice. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> now I don't know about this one, but I I just thought I brought it up because it's always interesting to see what's out there. Um, mm-hmm. Journey Lens is what this company is called. Mm-hmm. And supposedly they're making AI glasses that are not distracting. And so I just thought that they're, it's supposed to improve focus, avoid distractions and assist the users. So they're trying to, their whole marketing, I went to their website is all about, 
it's like social media hijacks your attention for profit mm -hmm. and it's like leading to addiction. But if you put our glasses on, you can stay focused okay. and let, so, so what it does is it like ties into your phone and it only gives you like notifications that you want to be distracted by, I guess. And I think there's also an AI uh, ability to like, um, and, and yeah, there's a, you can like talk to AI and get information. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's, but it's supposed to be like private when you do that. Uh, you know, so what, but, but, but I just think to myself, like, yeah, but, uh, that's kind of weird. Me think about, something this is making me think about though is, um, you know, like, so before, before the meta quest devices before like meta got into devices, yeah. um, meta Meta didn't have a device relationship with the user, right? Like yeah. Apple has a device relationship, Google, Samsung, but Meta didn't have a device relationship. And right, there right. wasn't there wasn't a, a social media platform which had a device relationship. And so social media platforms had no incentive to say that uh, like we want we want to uh, make the the person's time well spent or they had mm -hmm. less incentive, let's say. Definitely. Like Apple, yeah, Apple is still fine if you use the phone, even if you're not using social media. Google is still fine if you use the phone, not social media. So at the phone level, they can help you go into like work mode or uh, do not disturb or like, you know, notification free mode. And now that now that Meta has Ray-Bans and Quest, like maybe, maybe they, <laughs> that, that's going to be an interesting relationship. You know, if, if there's a user of Ray-Ban or Quest, who wants to have less notifications, but Meta wants to send more, no like Facebook yeah. or Instagram wants to send more notifications. Interesting push-pull. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. Oh, and one other thing I want to mention in here, that the glasses do have EMG sensors in the nose area that's supposed to detect eye movements, and then special algorithms evaluate this data to determine mm -hmm. the user's level of focus and make suggestions for productivity or relaxation. So, sure. I don't know. Yeah. And I, so yeah, I, I, mean, I think it's a marketing message. I do too. <laughs> I think it's all marketing because I just want you to know, I think it's pretty heavy marketing about our smart glasses will not distract you ever. And like That's everything sweet. will be pri And I'm like, I'm like, okay. So it's basically like a notification advice device or like, um, or yeah. like, oh, you can talk to it and get some information on your glasses because you don't want to like look down at your phone. I'm not really sure. And the I think the biggest problem with this is it's all kind of like fluffy, fluffy marketing. Uh -huh. And it and it's not really like to me, I I tried to find a demo of it. I was like, what does it look like? You know, and I couldn't find anything. Uh, so maybe anybody try it and put online. Right. Like a I, I just video. couldn't find it. I could always oh, pre-older. I don't, I don't know why. Have you tried yeah. like a uh, brilliant lab? Yeah, I couldn't lab. find anything. Yeah. Brilliant lab. Long time ago, remember Brilliant no. lab had the, like a ChatGPT AR glass. Oh, I didn't try that. No. Yeah. Yeah. And it it's like a 400 to $600. So that's all I have. You, yeah. If you try it. <laughs> um, and uh, as far as I know, if you Google Brilliant lab AI glass. I'll try that. Um, okay. a, a, a lot of people said that um, I, I would say, if you see marketing message is brilliant, uh, but mm -hmm. if you see the real people try it, that a lot of people ask questions. So yeah, um, yeah. So, so I'd I, like I'm to thinking, see a demo of this, but yeah. Anyway, I, I'm thinking about like a maybe Meta Connect. They might show. I I don't know. I don't know about whether Meta will show the <laughs> secret. <laughs> like a rumor has said that there will be a super cool like ORM proje project, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah and in yeah. prototype, right? Like I've yeah, I think I've heard that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Awesome. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Christine. That's all I got. A DT. Yeah. Please. I can go next. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, start broadcast. I'm using a slightly different device today, so just getting That's used okay. to it. All yeah. right. Okay, so I'm hoping you can see my screen and google docs um yeah. so speaking of meta quest there was mm -hmm. a leak there was a leak of something that meta might show mm -hmm. um so we have like a i think there was a meta quest 3s virtual reality headset uh and 
some leaks of that, like some feature leaks happened about what features that three S headset might be. And I think like at the high level, it seems like this three S is maybe a, a bridge between the MetaQuest 2 and the MetaQuest 3. Um, it might like, you can think of it as a MetaQuest 3 light, I think. Um, and what happened is they had like information on Meta's official support page about, hey, you, you can use this uh, action button to quickly switch between like pass through and uh, uh, kind of, you know, full, full VR. Um, and I'm just looking for, yeah, here, here it is. So it's like, you know, it, it seems like they're getting ready probably for MetaConnect Meta and they're, they're getting ready to, to show all of this stuff and make it live on their site. And maybe this was a leak which happened, you know, some something got published ahead of time sort of thing. Um, and yeah, there's, I I don't know how, like, I don't know if the, I feel like maybe these photos were part of the leak too, um, but like very interesting. Now there's like six, six different camera sensor thingies. Um, I'm getting, do you, do you remember like when one of the iPhones had this triangular arrangement, like the first time the iPhone started this kind of triangular arrangement, um, people started comparing it to Boba because it looks a lot like Bubble D. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder if we're going to see those memes again. Um, but yeah, I thought this was, this was kind of interesting. And then there's some more support documentation around like the status light display colors on MetaQuest 3 and MetaQuest 3S. Um, yeah. So I know the, the MetaConnect is coming up like pretty soon, later this month. So we might, maybe we'll hear a little bit about MetaQuest 3S at the point. Oh, I, I will be there. But uh, I have Friday? a class on Wednesday mm -hmm. and I need to jump in and later on I have another late night uh, class. So I will be like extremely tired, but yeah, yeah I will miss Mark Zuckerberg's talk, but uh, <laughs> probably Thursday. I, I'm thinking about Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I'm very curious about like right now, they, it seems like they canceled the lab, a Apple Lab, right? Apple Lab. And they how can you them. upload uh, mm -hmm. your... I don't know, like Christine, do you know like a I think it's transitioning to something else, but I'm not sure what that means. Oh have yeah. You, have you upload yeah. uh because I haven't done that. You haven't yeah, done it, that. Yeah. It's, it's I think it's just course. yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's just gonna be oh, like a different so probably just buried in the <laughs> oh, <laughs> store. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, because um, because I heard that yeah, it's very I don't think hard. It's right away, but it's it's very yeah. hard to get on there. Th yeah, that's for sure. I heard that. Um, so okay. App Lab was a really nice way to, you know, get onto the MetaQuest, but but I don't think they're getting rid of it. I think it's some sort of like Merging. transition, yeah, yeah, to the other store. I'm not sure what it means yet because I I need to find out though because <laughs> yeah. I need to get my yeah right. I will find out because I need to get my game <laughs> yeah on there. yeah yeah. Let, let, let me know because I I'm in the process of getting into PsyQuest. I'm still like a beta testing tons oh, of yeah. bugs and and do you, do you have any suggestion or like a something that I I'm thinking about uh upload uh export to SDK. And mm -hmm. upload the SDK set the right thing. Because I saw like there's a box on SideQuest and you need to drag the upload, just SDK, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you probably oh. just have to drag the APK up there. Yeah. Is there any limitation of the size or something? For App Lab or for SideQuest? I haven't Psyquest, done SideQuest. SideQuest, oh. I haven't done yet. I don't know if, if they have a limitation of size. Oh, That's a good question. About App Lab, App Lab. That's a good question. I feel like there is, but I just don't quite remember if it's. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. I remember question. my friends. Yeah, because I feel who, like there was somewhere. But yeah, I, I remember my friends. Like uh, they, yeah. they, they, they are current. Uh, they are right now in the official uh, app store, uh, Meta mm, app store. Awesome. Yeah, they, they are very big and fully funded. And um, they told me that, um, um, like, you need to. Like there's a huge document. You need to have a lot of checkbox for all the yeah. requirements. For example, frame rate, 
Frame rate. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is probably the biggest thing I would no. say is frame rate. And <laughs> if if it drops below their minimum, which I think currently is 72, mm-hmm. I would shoot for 90. But if it's currently 72, if it goes below it all, I think you're you can't get on the store. So you have to really be careful wow. on it and never dropping. I think oh I think God. it's pretty strict. But you should be, I mean, if you go to like 90 or so anyway you'll be safe. Like, cause then if it drops, it's going to go to 80 or 70, oh, but yeah. I think I would shoot for 90. That's my opinion. Um, but 72 so is okay. Have... If your game, if your game's not like having things flying everywhere, especially since I do narrative, I kind of push it sometimes to 72. <laughs> <laughs> and so is it, is it that like you have all these requirements to get onto the, like the, the main quest store? but not for huge, huge, huge requirement. And I I almost feel like you also have to have like, I don't know, some sort of, um, I don't know, notoriety or team behind you. I'm not really sure, Uh, (laughs) but maybe you need to be kind of famous. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just strict. Maybe it's just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I just know it's, it's hard for a lot of people to get in, in app lab, in app lab. That's not the case. No, because that's more like a side quest type. Thing. Yeah, got it, got you, you just upload. It's like a ichio, right? You just yeah. upload, and for people, but there's to still requirements. So, yeah, yeah, some, yeah. Some, some, so, like yeah, more yeah. relaxed, more more achievable, more requirements, relaxed. Smaller, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So maybe probably, like, itchio is probably the easiest thing that anyone could get on, <laughs> yeah. because I do think that even even well, I mean, because I don't think they check for like FPS, but I, even with side quests, I believe someone has to go through like a human being goes through your game before oh. they approve it. All right. Yeah. So yeah. you, you have... can't just, but it's, yeah, we just throw it up there. No one has to go through it. <laughs> Wait, what yeah. is, what is that? What is that one that you mentioned? It, it child? What is it? Ichio. Ichio. Uh, Ichio yeah. is kind of like, a, for example, if you want to upload a game on Steam mm-hmm. or like a, more, more like, I, I would say like more Steam 2D. Too. Yeah. Like, like 2D more ish, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, you can upload it and share the public uh, mm-hmm. kind of url for people to try it and give you yeah. feedback something wow. yeah game jam yeah game jams use it yeah, a game lot. Jam. yeah yeah oh i see i see all right interesting okay oh i see okay well so something i'm reading from this article is mm. maybe that you know like they had all these crazy requirements or they have them right now to to for the quest store and maybe all maybe what they're doing is that if you want to come onto the quest store even as a smaller developer there there's some way to come in with more relaxed requirements maybe yeah it sounds better yeah I I mean the one thing yeah it was hard it's like I like that Zuckerberg I think does support small developers I think he understands that we need more content for VR and um I'm so I do think that and that's why this is opening up to people which is nice but at the same time it was kind of hard earlier to get on there so it's like yeah, I guess there's that thing too. You know, you do want quality apps on your store, so I and understand. I think, I think also you want like, you know, as a as a Quest user, just as a consumer, um, I'm I I I'm definitely going to know about the Quest store, but I'm I'm already in the ARVR community, and you know, I've had some background in it, but I've never even tried opening App Lab. Like, I've never used anything from App Lab. Oh, and- I try try a couple. Uh, yeah. I, I think for uh, Robin, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, Christine, you you will meet Robin pretty soon because um, like uh, the the speaker ma- uh, panel. But oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, their game was was when I tried it last year. Uh, their game was in App Lab, and I remember I talked to Robin, and she mentioned that, uh, just like you said that you need to be famous, oh. and uh, mm-hmm. yeah. You, you 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 land on the app lab and it yeah. takes a very long time and it's inter uh internal meta employee referral mm. so you need to have a good relationship with somebody yeah. internal and they will bring you and make you public so every- okay it wasn't my yeah. imagination then <laughs> <laughs> something like that yeah so 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 yeah I I I personally think that. I don't know. It's like a, a a very hard process. So I think maybe Ichio and Psychoas first, and later on. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That, well, my yeah, that's my my prod my process. I'm sorry. My process is going to be Psychoas first, mm-hmm. and then um, I'm going to go on to whatever App Lab version it is by the time I decide <laughs> to do that because I'm not sure what 
it, you know, whatever they open to smaller developers on the quests, I'm going to do mm -hmm. that after, because just for me, I I'd like to get feedback mm -hmm. from the side quest audience first and, and possibly steam I'm, you know, and then after that, you know, make a bunch of changes maybe <laughs> mm -hmm. after I get some feedback and then put it more officially on the meta store. Once I, yeah. 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 It's get like a bit of that feedback. To, like, alpha alpha launch it, that's because... kind of how i feel it in my opinion i like going through like that more um longer process of a of a launch because i think it makes people happier you know yeah, like yeah. with because they're actually... less likely to you know like leave your game or yeah or, or and come back to you later if you come up with something else because of the process that you went through you like listen to them you yeah. make sure the quality was good make sure all those things were yeah. done properly and i think if you show that that's good um uh, for future because sometimes games are very competitive you can get um you can get, have a bad first impression sometimes yeah, yeah if your fps is really low for example or um yeah there's just something about it that's pretty obvious um, yeah and you, like might, maybe, you might not know until the users tell you you know yeah that's that's true like it, it helps you improve your app development it helps you improve your just the overall quality and it, it's like a a bunch of folks who have signed up to try out games which are in their kind of earlier stages yes yeah that that, that expectation overall is lower like you know everyone knows that you're going to try out an early game and it might have some things here and there which are interesting yeah 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 that's cool um okay so i'll let me get us on to the second one um so second piece of news from me which is I think it might be related, Christine, to what you brought up. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. It might be. Yeah. I, I, so this is, this says, so Meta fed its AI on almost everything you posted publicly since 2007. <gasps> oh, since 2007. Unless <gasps> you're in the EU, which the three of us are not. Um, <gasps> and even, even in the EU, you, you would, I guess, need to opt out. Um, that's, that's the only story I had. I didn't have the rest, so good. Tell us the rest. <laughs> well, yeah, I think I think our our two pieces of news kind of tie in. Um, yeah. So Meta has acknowledged that all text and photos that adult Facebook and Instagram users have publicly published have been fed into artificial intelligence models. So, like you know, I I do have a public Instagram profile, but uh, and and I think my Facebook as well, but. A lot of my friends are private ones, so I'm guessing their data would not be used, but mine might be. Um, what if you delete your account, like I did? <sighs> that's a that's uh, a great question. Do I don't they know. Still have it in the background? They I might. think so. Maybe. <laughs> <sighs> There's no getting away. Set those posts. Yep. Yeah. Um, That's okay if, yeah. if, if it's not in there. Yeah. No, th so this was something about in Australia. I feel like Australia has been reporting on this or something. Um, the, it, yeah, it was an inquiry about whether the social media giant has been um, hoovering up but or using all of the Australians' data and it seems to be something that's happening in like the Australian uh, house, house of house of government. Um, so, yeah, there, there's there's some interesting. The truth of the matter is, and th this is some kind of senator who said, mm -hmm. who asked, the truth of the matter is, unless you have consciously set posts to private since two thousand seven, Meta has been scraping all photos and text from every pub every public post since 2007 unless there was a conscious decision to set it on private is that correct and then their representative said yes that's correct okay so yeah all right mm. interesting so so that's 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 some news on how mm. meta trains its AI. um and then my third piece of news, this is this is not actually news, but I was curious. It's, it's kind of a follow-up on news from earlier. So last year in 2023, um, Roblox announced that they're, they're available on MetaQuest. And this was shared at the Roblox Developers Conference. 
um, they had an open beta uh, in which more than a million people installed Roblox on MetaQuest in the first five days. Um, so, and and they, they, I think they try and make it easy for Roblox developers to quickly expand to VR. Um, I'm curious if like either of you has tried out Roblox on MetaQuest or if you've heard of friends doing that. Uh, like I'd like to come back to some of these stories a little later to see how's mm -hmm. it doing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is it doing well? Those kind of things, yeah. I don't know because <laughs> I don't play Roblox. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I did hear about this. Mm -hmm. And I think they were able to probably do that because they lowered the age for you to be able to access um, or have an account. Yeah, yeah. Be, they, be in the headset at least. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, wow. So I think that Roblox has over 66 million daily active Across, players. yeah, wow. across wow. a variety of platforms. Across a different, yeah, exactly, yeah. different platforms. Yeah. So I'm just, just, just something to, with that. Mm -hmm. something to chew on. Like I'm, if you, if you, if you comes across any reporting from Roblox about like how many they've gotten on MetaQuest, I would be super interested. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I also feel like, you know, Meta's been trying to build out Horizon Worlds and get people oh. in Horizon Worlds. But I think Roblox has actually been much more successful I think in in building out an actual metaverse, like Roblox is a metaverse, right? And so that's a good question for our guest. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, exciting, cool. Yeah, okay. and and actually, um, um, it is. I think a few <laughs> few weeks ago, I interview. Um, uh, there there's another author who wrote a book called like a like some some made other stuff like the book it was on my bookshelf anyway um he he mentioned uh, um, uh vr chat and uh, uh roblox because mm -hmm. he he was joining the early second life and mm -hmm. he was the journal our journalist writing mm -hmm. second life and he mentioned why second life was not hit but uh, roblox and uh, um, uh vr chat hit because mm -hmm. uh for example like a second life was trying uh, to make people engaging, but it, it's just like a start with like a super high level, uh, but uh, Roblox is starting with creator community, uh, creator economy, and also because uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of the examples that he mentioned in his book is that uh, one black woman in Africa, I, I, I don't know the exact race and the uh, location but it seems like uh, that person's life was not really well but because he she jumped in to start developing a roblox game and mm -hmm. then she she got like a like a 1700 per month income in in another country which is really really good and she lived a really good life in that mm -hmm. country so she started working a lot so, which means that the Roblox really can help creator making money, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. are re they had a lot of support, and also mm -hmm. there are a lot of education, uh, program. If you dive in, there are a lot of education, a uh, program mm -hmm. inside Roblox. So wow. Roblox is like a really focused on children play, and also yeah. uh, uh, it, so imagine if you can make your creator make money, there mm -hmm. will be more people to join and make money mm -hmm. because everybody right now wants to make some monies so so pretty much it becomes a really good ecosystem yeah VR chat right now i think they are still like uh, trying to figure out the monetization but uh, mm -hmm. because they start with building a community mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, people start joining in so um, according to his book if you want to make a metaverse probably not start with the vision like what feature needs to be in but start engaging with the user and start mm -hmm. you see like vr chat has a lot of people engaging in even though they um they they are struggling or they are trying to make money out of it um, mm -hmm. but i think that they are uh, um uh, they have a really good uh, community and mm -hmm. also for uh, um, uh, roblox they have a not only good engaging uh, community, but also uh, developer. Because yeah. developer is the person or are the people who can create content and feed it back. Yeah. So 
this e <clears throat> economy is very important. And mm -hmm. while if you see uh, Horizon World, mm -hmm. I joined Horizon World a couple of times. They block, for example, like I was trying to create actuality inside Horizon World. I couldn't mm -hmm. upload my customized logo. I need to use their basic tool. In order, oh. to, in order for me to upload my customized 3D model, I have mm -hmm. to join or being picked internally mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. to like a horizon venue so mm -hmm. I can monetize it. They, they have a very strict like a uh, internal process that it's like a, it's, it's in the box that nobody knows what the process is. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's blocking people to make money and create. And they, they, they kind of like, oh, we want like a user experience is super awesome. But if you see like a, just like a Christine, you recently work on like a Gorilla Tech, right? And also like the um, uh, VR chat. I wouldn't say their experience are amazingly good, but people enjoy it. I, I personally think sometimes, you know, we got um, kind of blocked, like, oh, everything needs to be good. Like uh, the, the UX design needs to be good for sure. Yes. But uh, if that types of regulation blocks the creativity as people jump into vr the younger mm -hmm. generation usually mm -hmm. seeking for something new mm -hmm. and they 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 can tolerate some bad like gorilla tag gorilla tag is so it's so scrappy in so many ways you know but but i like so popular the scrappiness of it in a lot of ways and uh yeah because just because you get to see a lot more different styles even if yeah, something's not perfect. I kind of mm -hmm. like that. One of my favorite, what, there's an awesome VR chat world that's, you can like walk around like you're in Animal Crossing. Again, as I type back in Animal Crossing, <laughs> that is so fun. And I wish like, now what they need to do is just put some some of that sprites AI on that, mm -hmm. <laughs> on that world. And then I will be in there all the time <laughs> talking that to sounds... my favorite characters. It, and I just, I mean, and it's funny because I'm such a fan of that game. I when I went into that VR chat world, I was seriously just walking around and like talking to my fit because they were like right in front of me, and it was just yeah. so cute. And I was like, "Oh, hi!" And then, <laughs> yeah, and then after some time, as you said, you might get used to the dialogue. So yeah, they've got the. So it'd know. be fun if they responded to me. Yeah, yeah, and and here I'm just like talking to myself, feeling weird, but. <laughs> Yeah, but the, that VR chat world's really good. Oh my gosh, that's cool. That's really anyway, cool. okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hand it over to Dom. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let me see. Um, yeah. Let me see which one. Okay, so this one. I think this one. Okay. Um, can you see students? Yeah, we can see this. I can mm -hmm. at least. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so... I want to share with you, um, let me see, yeah, this, this one. I want to share with you this uh, news. Um, right now I'm teaching at community college. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think um, at the beginning for me, from outsider, uh, I think, oh, education was like a pretty slow or something. It, 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 it is true because uh, for the policy, stuff you need to go through tons of forms tons of approvals tons of sensors so uh, everything moves really slow but i think for america they um in america it's it's interesting that you see that ai education at community college the state of play and policy needs when i saw this news i was like wow so pretty much for american like uh, education uh we know there are community colleges and also universities. Universities are focusing on academics such as like a math, mm -hmm. like a something like chemistry, like something that is raw and basic and theory based. It's not really practical. For example, if I learn like a, I don't know, uh, trigonometry, right? I, I haven't really used trigonometry in my life, but but it, it, it's great to have those knowledges to take all like in the future, for example, like a game development, there might be some things mm -hmm. that we need to do some angles, but those stuff, I just type to chat GPT and they just, just set it wrong. So, but anyway, so this is kind of uh, very interesting to see like an AI education at community college. Mm -hmm. And um, 
the more that I evolve with community college, the more that I know that they are actually, because I find out that I, um, I think it's a very refreshing for me uh, with the industry background and jump into education. Mm-hmm. And for the professor there to, 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 when they talk to me, they feel refreshed as well, because I think for them, um, a lot of professors, they are from academic background. So mm-hmm. when they see this AI, they just like, yes, this is important, but I don't know how. I don't know the technology behind it. Mm-hmm. So I think there's a lot of interesting uh, collaborations can be between the industry experts. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, because I feel like either one side without each other's knowledge is impossible to create I, I don't know, either policy or anything, because I find out that school teachers are eagerly to do things, but they just don't know how. They have mm-hmm. no knowledge and they have no connections with industry experts. Because mm-hmm. when, um, um, when, when I heard they want to reach out to people, they said that, oh, I want to reach out to their uh, whatever department, info, you, you know, like if you go to a website, like there is always connect with us, contact us. They need to fill out that form and mm-hmm. then wait for a start from button to up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, I saw like a school can directly talk to more like a, a higher level decision maker directly. Mm-hmm. So I think there are a lot of gaps between um, industry and education. And mm-hmm. I find out that um, um, they are trying to uh, solve it in the district and state, mm-hmm. which I think is, is great because- That's amazing. Yeah, be- because um, for, for example, like uh, in my knowledge that Senator or like school district are the people who doesn't really know anything. They just get the position and they, they just live really longer and healthy and just keep their position. <laughs> and when you ask them something, they probably um, really cannot tell you anything. But I think, um, I, I don't know, I just really like what I see because if you see this, they have a, kind of like a meeting if you are interested in uh, RSVP. Uh, so pretty much they want to, because you see like a Gen Z, uh, Gen Z right now after graduate from high school they directly jump to blue column work mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's pay much better and yeah. also if, for example like a student uh, doesn't want to keep um, like get a degree because degree yeah. for example after you graduate expensive. you, you cannot, know it's very expensive yeah yeah cannot find anything so uh, for community college for example like as far as I know maybe my information was wrong uh, if you are in the same district, um, uh, like a San Mateo, um, mm-hmm. um, like in San Mateo, mm-hmm. um, it's free. If you mm-hmm. are the resident, you are free. And uh, if you are non-resident or something, maybe my information was wrong, you need to uh, check the most mm-hmm. current website. It's $66 per one credit. Wow. Well, <laughs> I yeah. remember uh, back in our center, back in 2008, it's 3000 Per one credit oh yeah 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 it's kind true. of like that yeah so I do think that those community college really helps like uh in this economy investing mm-hmm. in community college is probably mm-hmm. um, a really good choice because people couldn't afford that uh, four-year um like a university and they are I don't mm-hmm. want to say that but overpricing unless mm-hmm. it's like a super famous one like mm-hmm. Ivy League Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I feel like community college, if done well, because it's more like a, um, a job skill, job uh, skill training. training. So yeah. yeah, I think wow, this is like a what a what what a great certification. <laughs> Imagine you got a certification like with an A degree within like a um, one to two thousand dollars, you finish the entire degree. Versus yeah. you need to pay like three thousand per one credit for. For uh, I don't know a certification in MIT or in Berkeley, right? Uh, so I, yeah, yeah. So so this is definitely great. So if you see this, I wanna show you this one. They have a lot of um, uh, interesting uh, links. But mm-hmm. if you see, um, uh, wow. Um, yeah, if you see, eh? oh, those are the colleges that has the mm-hmm. stuff. Um, 
and lots of like big names partnering so i saw that yeah. there's a in in maybe the first article that you were showing it said uh-huh. it's a national science like it's the federal agency the us national foundation yeah um, which is doing it um and i think it's also like i saw maybe intel being associated so like lots of lots of big names for sure yeah and intel even provide if you see this uh mm-hmm. intel provide free mm-hmm. like a 700 like yeah th- there are tons of links intel mm-hmm. provide like 7000 is this one oh simplify the journey mm-hmm. they provide 7000 hours free community course for oh you. Oh yeah, you God. you you can you can just jump in and start learning AI. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and a lot of big companies start creating a lot of like a um um uh, AI auto uh, autonomous vehicle or all those like development. Oh, wow. what I wanna share with you is that well, the, there are so many informations. Um, I feel very excited because if you uh, is this one. Let me make sure. Oh, this is like <laughs> Intel. Intel has like an education work workforce program, mm. and uh, this is very important because there's another article called AI for Blue Column, which mm-hmm. I find is intriguing. Um, I hope I can find it. Um, it's just very in a lot of. Okay, so if you see this. Um, Um, yeah, basically, if you see the uh, oh, very, oh wow, very many minutes left. Okay, so basically, if you go go through all the links, uh, mm-hmm. there's another articles called AI for Blue Column, and mm-hmm. AI for Blue Column means that um, um, uh, for example, like uh, uh, assembly lines, um, mm-hmm. maintenance. And mm-hmm. also farmland workers. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. it's more like a uh, human do it, but now mm-hmm. the AI program for community college is, uh, you are the director, and there's a lot of robot machines, mm-hmm. and they are doing the work, the dirty work, and you wow. need to maintain them. You need to fix them if oh. it is broken. So it's more like a technology side, but all the dirty work before it's like, oh, I I farm stuff. I'm I, I I do the hands on stuff, but now it's like there will be a string a, a a line of machines, and you are sitting there, you are fixing the machine. Oh my gosh! It's, yeah, it's called AI for blue column, but it's also in community college education. Mm. So this is like a I find out amazing. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. I know we are running off time, but I just want to share with you like community college has a lot of interesting stuff. And hopefully we can all implement AI or some cool stuff in coming mm-hmm. college. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, I will see you guys uh, in next meeting. Okay, bye bye. That's it.